LeBron James' son, Bronny James, committed to USC. He'll be going there next year. Um, LeBron James, his father, was very happy. He was the first member of his family to go to college. LeBron James himself skipped college and was able to go at that point straight to the NBA. Um, it also helped his family financially. Obviously, his son does not have the same financial situation as his father had. Um, he has a pretty luxurious lifestyle as a son of LeBron James. Uh, LeBron James says even if he didn't win the game yesterday against the Warriors, which he did end up winning, uh, it would be a triumphant day for his family, that his first member of his family going to college. Uh, it is special, but college is not what it used to be. College used to be basically a guarantee of a good job. It's not necessarily a guarantee anymore. And does he really need to go to college anymore? He has whatever money he's going to need for the rest of his life. Warren Buffett stressed at a meeting of Berkshire Hathaway shareholders that even though the company has 35% of its stock portfolio in Apple, um, it doesn't constitute um, even 10% of its total uh, holdings. They have other holdings besides the stock market. Uh, he says he loves it. Apple is the biggest stock they own. They own 5.6% 5. 5. of the company of Apple. He says it's a great stock. People would rather have their Apple iPhone than a second car. Uh, I don't think Apple is so good. I think Galaxy is better. I have a video about this. Um, besides the fact that it's better picture quality, better sound quality, um, it, it uses Google Chrome as a default browser as opposed to Apple. The iPhone uses a Safari, which doesn't find you anything. It's also compatible with all the Google apps, Android, the Samsung Galaxy. Apple is not. For those reasons, Galaxy is much better. In a recent experiment, ChatGPT was asked to pick 10 stocks and see how they would do over an eight-week period. The stocks that they picked rose 4.9% versus other investment funds, which in the same eight-week period lost about a quarter percent. So... Uh, it seems that you don't have to pick your own funds and pick your own uh, st stocks anymore. Artificial intelligence will do it for you. Um, it seems that artificial intelligence can do basically anything humans can do and a lot better. I will say this, the only things that artificial intelligence will never be able to do, and this will ultimately differentiate human beings from the robots, is personality. Robots will never have personality. Um, making real life moral decision making and also having opinions. I don't think artificial intelligence will ever have the ability to have their own opinions. Prince Harry attended uh, King Charles III's coronation on Saturday. Um, he was notably by himself, not with his wife Meghan Markle or their two kids who were left behind in California. Um, <clears throat> he came, sat two rows, two rows behind his brother. Prince William, and he left early. Um, <clears throat> it was nice that he came. I mean, it is his father. Um, but I think the fact that he appeared by himself is really symbolic of what's happened with him and his relationship with the royal family. The fact that basically he was an endeared part of the royal family until he married his wife, Meghan Markle. She basically took him away from the royal family and emigrated to... California and left all their royal duties uh, and that's their life you know they create a new celebrity lifestyle but it, what, ha what happened during the coronation is symbolic of his life. Rabbi Ephraim Mervis the chief rabbi of Britain uh, attended King Charles III's coronation he stayed over uh, at the royal palace uh, which is a mile walk from Westminster, Westminster Abbey um, and participated in the services he had a short video where he sort of noted the oddity of an Orthodox rabbi um, attending church on a Saturday morning as opposed to an Orthodox synagogue. Um, he said it was a tradition of the first chief rabbi of the UK to do such a thing, and he follows in his path. What I find problematic about this is that he's an Orthodox, almost an ultra-Orthodox ultra rabbi, and it's very questionable according to normative practice in Judaism whether you're even allowed to step inside a church if you're going to be lenient in regards to these things, because you can't refuse the king, can you? You have to be lenient in other areas of life also. I think it's important to be consistent.